Hey everyone, this is your five minute daily devotional. Today's scripture verse is coming from John 10 verse 10. It reads as follows. The thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. So confession, I like to read money blogs and listen to money podcasts and listen to those money advice columnist blogs as such. I like hearing their advice, what advice they give certain people. I love hearing people win in this area. I love good wisdom in this area. I just like to see people excel in this area. Recently though, I read a column, one of these types of columns, and it made me really sad. I read about a man who just didn't really seem to enjoy life. He had amassed about a million dollars, which was incredible, but you know, he had moved from place to place. He had never owned a home. He didn't have a family. He only expected to live about another 20 years because he lost his parents at a young age. It just seemed like he was kind of calling it quits. He planned to retire in about a year or two, and it was almost as if he was sort of planning his downfall. I mean, he was in his 40s, he was 48, and he was already sort of calling it quits, planning to throw in the towel, to, you know, give up on life basically. And I just thought, this is not God's will. This is not God's will for this person. I don't like this, this is not good. In our verse today, we are reminded that it is the enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God came to give us life and give us life more abundantly. And I just wanted to talk to this anonymous man and tell him, in so many ways, you were just getting started. God has so much more for you. I don't want any of us to get this mindset of because we haven't reached a certain thing at a certain point, that life hasn't gone a certain way the way we wanted it to go, that is just sort of over for us. Like nothing else good will happen for us, that God doesn't have anything else good because it hasn't happened already, that life is just sort of going downhill from here, that the good old days are behind us. And some people live like this. They think back to the good old days, the sweet by and by, the the best is behind us. And they sort of forget about the here and now and that if God has you on this planet this day, he's got more for you to do and see and be. He's got good plans for you. And yes, age might slow you down physically, but it can also propel you forward. Did you know actor Warren Beatty married his wife Annette Benning when he was 55 and they have four kids. Corey Ten Boom, who was in the Nazi Germany concentration camps for hiding Jewish people. She survived the concentration camps when her family did not. She made it out of those camps and she started preaching her story telling people about Jesus, how he kept them, sharing her story with the world in her mid fifties. She traveled to 60 countries and wrote approximately something like 20 books. I prayed for that man in that column because one, he doesn't know when he's going to die. He could live to 106, but two, God has so much more for him in this life. I have no idea who this is. God has so much more for him in this life because he loves him, God loves him, and he has so many wonderful plans for him. His assets, his history can be part of that. He has amassed a great amount of wealth. He has lived in many places. He can do so many things with those two assets right there and enjoy his life. Wherever you are in this life, whether you are just starting out in your adulting journey or you are a seasoned person with many wonderful stories and experiences, if you are here, God still has more for you to see, to do, to be. God has plans for you, plans to prosper you, not to harm you, plans to help you discover things about yourself that you didn't know and to see more places and to help and encourage more people and to continue to shed God's love, to shine God's love to this world. I prayed for that man and I pray that God would knock his socks off and make his latter days better than his former days. And I pray the same for you. I pray that God would show you there is so much more he has in store for you, so much more for you to do and be and become and in the process, give him glory and just enjoy this life he's given you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father God, help us never get that mentality where we are just throwing in the towel. Help us to have the mentality, God, that there is something next, there's a new adventure, there is something else to do and see and become, God, all for your glory, God. Help us to love more people, inspire more people, help more people, God, and let you get the glory through us in Jesus' name. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this devotional, 
please be sure to subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you. God bless you. God bless you so much. God loves you. I love you guys. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.